In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. I did do it in the heart last time and I didn't even mean to. The Arabian Desert, a vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. But the Ottomans do not rule unopposed. Oh man, give me the soundtrack. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. In the desert, you rely Her on voice, plan, man, is powerful, bro. but you also hope for a dash of luck. And luck was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract attention. You had to be prepared for the Ottomans to respond in kind. Yeah. 
there's a world of difference between seeing something and having it in your own two A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen.
Oh yeah, well. Has to be the last one. <laughs> Bastard. Uh. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. <coughs> the tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets. I didn't even get shot at. That's just a bump. What's that man doing up there? He's setting up CCTV on me. That's bullshit, a lone man. fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. It's pointless being stealthy. I might as well just run. <laughs> Oh shit, yeah, that gun. Damn it, I dropped him, he dropped me. I just need to take my time or I'm not going to be able to do it. But that's long. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they guarded the wreckage and waited for reinforcements. <laughs> the tribesmen fought unconventionally, using weapons they knew well. Endurance, individual intelligence, and courage were their primary assets.
Kasım'ı anlar. Benim için bizden aşağı Kasım Paşa. Bilmem anlatabilirim. Bitch. Wow. When your enemy has better weapons and better equipment than you, steal from your enemy. think we would be fast enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <coughs> Ahmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies. 
your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run. Nowhere to run. Nowhere to hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. Oh, animal! Zara! So far, she oh. kind of Now, I understand that you would like nothing more than to strip Ooh, the flesh that. from that man's feet and send him off into the desert naked to die. But think about it. You're right. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me how to lie to your friend. So we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. <laughs> Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one. You can never stop the progress of machines. One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold beneath its sands. We shall see, my friend. Of course, obtaining the codebook is not enough. To destroy this iron dragon, this Canavar, as the Ottomans have named it, we had to send it three encrypted messages to it to stand down. There were Ottoman outposts scattered along the railroad tracks. The commanders there carried high-priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our orders. Infiltrating the village wouldn't be easy. A full detachment of Ottoman soldiers had occupied it. The Ottomans had chosen an isolated location for their desert outpost. It seemed lightly defended. It was also well stocked with arms and equipment. The ancient ruins were all that remained of a civilization now lost to time. The Ottoman Empire brought in the modern world with a host of armored vehicles and field guns. Three commanders to eliminate, three personal message capsules to be stolen, and then sent with our false orders. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. The Bedouin treasured their horses, and in return, those animals granted their riders unparalleled speed and mobility. Hmm. Oh, he's stuck. He's
just took that out of my hand, but... I need more ammo. Oh, there's none there. Oh, he's got armor on Nelly.
was the commander at Smack Tower. Single order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received. The train would acknowledge it. No, that's so close. So I did do the fishing bit now.
got the horse, but um, it'll take a while. Jesus, what was that? That's my heart. Yeah. Protocol required the message to be received in triplicate before the train would acknowledge it as genuine.
<laughs> Sorry, host. The message had already been sent, my dear. No, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. I made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops to slaughter any survivors. of Arabia dies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Slipped away just in time. Dilkichi was a fool to think we'd ever stay after he escaped. The carnival won't stop hunting us. No, it won't. Let me think. The train's coming a long way. So it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries then. Rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may set off those explosives and find you're out there all alone. You know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Yes, no. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. Thank <laughs> you. 
that done nothing. I'm dead. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosive. Best shot to do it there and then. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would be dealt with before the explosive could be set. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, go the small time. town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set.
<laughs> Hit a fragment. No, okay.
Once Zara secured the town, the trap could be set for the arriving train. Why is it down your boat right now? What? No, that was the end of the session right there. What? I died right on the end. You gotta be fucking dog shit, man. No, I'm gonna use these flat guns straight on now, man. What? <laughs>
See that? How did I get out of that situation? I don't understand how it's put me in that bullshit, so I've got to do this, yeah? Never getting off that other way. But he's still got like a... I've got to do that, bro. So, what you am see, I? the message had already been sent, my dear. But not the message you would have wanted. Gone. That's dumber. Man makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops had to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. The uh, difficulty, man, because I've already done this. I mean, it's too late, though, for that. makes plans and God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops had to be dealt with before the explosion could be set.
man makes plans and God laughs. As it turns out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops have to be dealt with.
Once Zara secured the town, the trap could be set for the arriving train. Here we go. We'll just get that. Look, you see, you got life. Go, just fall down, don't die. Don't even fall down there. I just need to let it run its course, I think I do. Check out these fucking reeking here. Heads. I'll take your time when you're savage.
my god, it's like a death trap. Oh, we just died. can be a sweet or bitter brew. How did you find the dark? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even Sue's canal. Maybe it is popped. Tell me. What do you know about battles? 